Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering how we can add hair to the moving character that we were um, learning about, how we can get the points to stick to the geometry in the previous tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, let's start by bringing in a different animation um, that I feel like it might give us some more interesting results with our moving character. So let's just import a jumping animation that I downloaded from Mixamo. connect that and um, oops I'm running out of battery but it should be okay for this tutorial let's come here and let's say out geo coming to our geometry and we have uh, our merge that now we're gonna connect that with the new geometry and let's see what we get so we have a friend right here and he is able to jump so let's make him invisible right here and we have this simple character that jumps down okay now how, how do we go about adding a little bit of hair to him so we know we covered this point deform node in the previous tutorial in the part one where we now have points that stick to the geometry so the points are not moving all right guys so here's what we need to do we need to drop down a hair gen to generate the hair and this is literally the same thing as just copying um copying lines onto the geometry we want to change this to per point and this is going to generate hair per each of our points so Let's just make it longer so that we can see it. Alright, so brain fart there. So our length goes here. Let's just increase the length to something decent like that. And let's just see like you see like so that's kinda like the main the main benefit of like the points sticking to the geometry is that now like the hair that we have sticks even though we haven't done any any simulation so like if we were to connect this to our to like uh points without the time shift the hairs would be jumping every frame so that's why we want to do it like this so now we have our base hair and you can go crazy and do anything you want um sometimes i actually just for the sake of the tutorial i i like to just remove the hands because the hands can sometimes cause some janky collisions with the fingers so let's just go ahead and remove the hands for now and I'll remove the feet so that we don't have war wonky collisions with the ground. So we've got our character here with fur. Now we're gonna drop down a vellum, vellum hair. You wanna connect the hair on the first input and then on the second input we wanna have our um, geometry because that's our collision we want the hair to like not like 
simulate inwards but simulate and hit the geometry so that like feels like it's hitting a skin so let's do vellum solver and you'll see that this will not work at first I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna reduce the amount of points here a little bit but increase the length so that's easier to see and the point count is fine you can change the point count with the segments so let's hit play and let's watch the hair fall so you'll see the hair is really not doing anything right now or actually that is actually working better than I expected but you can see <laughs> that the hair is falling every frame. Let me just refresh my viewport so we can see it refreshed. And you'll see that it leaves a bunch of the hair behind. And a lot of the hair is falling. And that's happening because the hair is not sticking to the points right now. Uh, to the actual geometry. We want the hair to stick to our character. Although that's actually quite, quite a neat effect. So the way that we do that is we want our hair we're gonna do a for each Actually, let's look into different methods that we can approach this. So I'm going to do a color and I'm going to apply a color to our points and make our points black. And I am going to make our hair red let's make it the opposite our points red and then I'm gonna do an attribute transfer and I'm gonna transfer the color of our geometry to our points and I want to reduce that um, that distance so it's only affecting like like the first layer of points so you can see that the points that are really close to the geometry are now red and then I'm gonna do a group expression and I'm gonna change this to points and I'll do if at cd.r is less than 0.1 So let's see if this is working. I'm just gonna grab a color and color the points that are on my group one. So that shows me that it is working and these are gonna be, um, we can name this whatever we want, but we're gonna gr call it group X. So let's go ahead and, and now that we have all of our points um, in a group, let's come back here and we are going to on our vellum constraints uh we're gonna pin the group x to the animation and now our points are going to stick to our character and now we hit play you'll see that it's still not working so what we need to do is instead of permanent we're gonna do soft and we're also gonna do soft here and we're gonna say match animation. Boom. So now you've got hair that is sticking to your character cleanly 
and we have a really cool furry character. Look at that. And now what we can do is just drop down a merge. And we're going to connect this to our original geometry here so that we can see what we're getting. And let's just make our, our hair white and we can make our character say blue for example. Yeah, and then as you can see, you have hair that is going to follow your character however you want it to do that. How cool is that? All right, so we've got splines, all right? We have like just lines. Now can we go about um, making it look nice when we render it? And that is something that I'm gonna show you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching guys and I'll be back with more.